So many industries have been impacted by the pandemic, and that includes the arts community. Many had no choice but to shut down operations for safety reasons, and it's been devastating for arts and cultural institutions as a result. Artists, academics, and art lovers, they're coming together to push for a Arts New Deal, which would work as a modern-day Work Progress Administration and put artists in Canada to work. Now, joining us to tell us more is actor Ali Momin, who most recently starred in Come From Away. Thanks so much for joining us, Ali. We appreciate it. And for talking thank you about, so much for having me. Thank you. And for talking about something that I, I think, you know, is important, because not a lot of us have actually heard from the arts community, and mm -hmm. we know you're struggling. So before we get to that, tell me what it was like for you, your personal experience with having to shut down Come From Away. It was, you know, uh, I, I, at first, I think we all thought it was just going to be some very, uh, like a very short period. But uh, very quickly, I think the gravity of the uh, 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 event kind of hit me. And I started to realize that, like, wow, this is actually more than just a temporary kind of situation. This is uh, a prolonged and uh, seismic event. So uh, since then, very quickly, I've been asking myself, like, OK, what are we going to do and what can we do uh, going forward? Yeah. Yeah, and you came up with something called Arts New Deal. So uh, before we get into that, it was inspired mm -hmm. by a program that was actually created after the Great Depression, uh, the WPA. Uh, explain what yeah. that is. Sure. So uh, during the Great Depression, 1935, uh, the, uh, uh, the the Roosevelt administration came up with uh, a Works Progress Administration. And what they did is that they viewed the artist as a worker and they threw the artist into infrastructure building. And uh, so artists were employed to help uh, build uh, hospitals. Uh, they were uh, uh, hired to create city guides. Uh, they were hired to paint murals all across the country. They were hired to do uh, educational shows. Documentary filmmaking was created at that time. So artists were taken uh, out from this kind of like esoteric kind of artsy place and they were made into workers to kind of transform society and the effects of the WPA were huge not just in terms of uh, what it did for the economy because it was think about it when you beautify and you are you know make make society artistic and beautiful it's really great for the economy but it actually transformed the country and it turned America into uh, uh, an epicenter of culture in which it wasn't before. And that's what I want to do now for Canada. You know, we have hundreds of thousands of people who are out of work. And I think to myself, we do not want a handout. We want to go to work. We want to transform this country. We want to make it uh, uh, the epicenter of culture in this world. So how would Arts New Deal work? Because this would obviously require help from the government, correct? Yes, of course. Yes. So there are two things uh, that need to happen. The first thing that there needs to be relief for the arts institutions. So listen, you know, our theaters are shut down. Our galleries are like very little uh, half, you know, basically like half capacity. You just can't do it. So we need relief for those institutions. But we also then need to put artists to work, as I said, to kind of transform society. So I'm going to give you some examples of, of, of what that could be. So John Tory, you can hire me to do a city guide of Toronto. You can have me go around, and when those planes come in, we can have that. We could be hiring playwrights to make plays that are that can be done socially distanced and can be done in care homes. We can be creating an, uh, an augmented reality experience of the AGO, of the ROM, so that anybody across the world or anybody across Canada can go and experience that museum. Like, we could be doing this right now. Yeah, these are all great ideas. And, and you know, even the WPA was a huge success, as you pointed out as well. Huge. And there's no reason why it can't be here in Canada. Yeah. For people who are, you know, lovers of the arts and who want to help, uh, what can they do? Because there's several ways, right? Yeah. Well, here's, here's uh, okay, definitely go to www.change.org slash Arts New Deal to sign the petition. And there's going to be a, a petition that's there and all the details are there. But I think what I want arts lovers to realize is this. I'm just going to give us quick numbers. 3%, 3% of our GDP is culture, right? 650,000 plus jobs are in culture. And on top of that, there's studies that are saying that with each job and culture, it begets four jobs. And the easiest way to explain that is if you go see Come From Way, what do you do? 
You take an Uber to the restaurant before, you eat at the restaurant, then you go to the show, you order drinks at the show, then afterwards you see the show and then you go and uh, you probably get another drink. Basically, if you're going to come from away, maybe you're an alcoholic. I don't know. Well, we're going to put that aside. <laughs> but it's amazing for the economy. So I want people who are arts lovers to, whenever someone says, why should we support the arts? I want you to remind them of that. And the other thing that you can do is definitely sign the petition. Tell your member of parliament that arts matters and you want art to be a part of every facet of this beautiful country. Yeah, you know, uh, people have been trying to do several things to buy local, support, uh, you know, local restaurants yeah. as well. This is also helping, uh, you know, the arts community. And, and I think this is something that people can really come together and do. You also have a podcast. It's called Soft Revolution. We want to make sure yes. people tune in uh, to that as well, because you talk to various artists from around the world yes. about uh, the new arts deal. So thank you again for joining us, Ali. It's very important what you're thank doing. Thank you so much, Pooja. Thank, thank you. you so much. Right now, have a wonderful day. You too.